Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And we're doing our 12 weeks of Christmas and this week is all about trees, Christmas trees, trees of various sort to make Christmas cards. And I thought we couldn't do one without using Grassy Grove. I love this tree image on here and that's the one we're going to use. So let me get this one out. So it's the two, this two one on here. And we are going to, I need to just take out a block that's going to fit it. I think that one will fit fine. Oops. Got to squeeze my way down. Getting a block out, right. <coughs> Sorry, I've got my blocks on the floor because I'm doing a few at a time so I then don't get myself um, stuck. Now that's going to be, I'm going to put it on diagonally. Put it on that way, perfect. Okay, now this time we are <coughs> we're using some a scrap of gold, and this I have cut out. I obviously cut things out of them, so I've cut some bits out, and that is then going to be there. So it's a quarter of an inch smaller. Any gold card you've got doesn't really matter, and then that's going to go onto the white because we're going to do some embossing in gold. So. We are, the first thing that we need whenever we're doing any embossing is some Versamark ink, which is a, um, a clear sticky ink. And we should really use some, um, static pad. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, let me just go and grab my, grab my pad that I need and I need a piece of copy paper so that I can use my right I've now got my bits together okay so we need an embossing buddy basically it's just a little bag that's got um, corn flour um, or talcum powder in and it just stops the image getting or the card getting picking up static or picking up bits from your fingers so um i've had mine for oh, i don't know probably as long as i've been a demonstrator so six seven years um and i you you know once you've got one you don't need another one so the versamark we are going to Put the verse mark in onto the image, and you want to be able to make sure that you've got it reasonably inked up without overly going over the edges. And we are going to do this all the way along. Now, you're not going to be able to see this, but I can. You can just see where the sticky mark goes. So this we are literally just putting it all the way along. Like that. And then we need to get some gold. So what I do is I haven't got a... I've got pots for some of them, but I haven't for all of them. So I just take a piece of copy paper put it in there and then I'm taking my gold just take the lid off no that's the copper that I was using on something else what have I done with my here's my gold you take the lid off carefully then it doesn't go everywhere and then all we're going to do is to sprinkle it over the image So I can take it all the way across, pick it up by the corner. Now you can use tweezers if you want. Um, I haven't got tweezers, but if you, you can see on here that it hasn't. You see where my finger was on there? If I take that off, it should. That's just literally where my finger was. 
but you can see you've now got the image on here and I can then pour my powder back in as I say embossing powder will last forever we now do our embossing powders in sets so you can't get them singly anymore however there are an awful lot out there so you know use what you've got I'm sure most of you have got some gold of some sort um, you know just use some gold if you haven't got gold use another color and just tie everything through in on the same colors let me just pop the lid back on this make sure I haven't got bits everywhere okay so now we can and I'm just going to do this on here so it doesn't ruin my table I'm now going to use my heat gun you'll have to excuse the noise but it's worth it to actually just see it all change color and again whatever tree stamp you've got there are lots of tree stamps out there so you know if you haven't got this one you don't have to use this one you can use another one but you can see it just starts to go and will be beautiful gold colour. I love this particular stamp because it's quite delicate and I think it makes a big difference where you have, you know, these tiny little bits of these branches and if you do it in the gold, it does make it look beautiful. So and you can see how you just get this tiny little pieces of the branches coming through all in this beautiful gold so I'm just heating it across I think that should be it. Turn that off. So now I hope you can see you've got this most gorgeous, gorgeous gold on here. Okay, so if we then put this in on top of here like that, and I can put, I'm going to put it straight onto my card. Now you will see that this slightly warps, but if you just sort of bend it a little bit, it should be absolutely fine. And depending on the um, card you're using, you will find sometimes it slides about a bit. So you just have to be a little bit cautious, um, but I'm sure it'll be, it'll be fine. So I'm going to put this in on the center of here. like this and you can see where it looks as if it's going to warp a little bit but just go around the sides and you can use whatever you want um, I always use my wet glue because that's the one I prefer so that's in on there and then I'm going to put it in onto the card and again because we're talking about doing a um, I don't like the word frugal, but a, a, a more cost-effective Christmas, budget-friendly. Um, you know, don't forget you can cut pieces out of all of the insides of things so that you're not wasting anything. So this is going to go down like this. And again, just take a second because it's... There we go, because of where it's warped slightly. But now you've got, you can see the gold on the gold, which looks beautiful. And then to just finish it off, I have got, which I you saw I'd cut out of the centre, I've just cut two of these little deer, which are the, um, the deer from this set. So you've got the mother and the baby. I always have them that way around because then the mother's looking down onto the baby. And this is from the, so the stamp set's Grassy Grove. The dies are Grove dies and it's worth getting them together. It really is, they work beautifully together. 
So I'm going to put this in on here like that. So I'm just going to, I could um, put dimensionals on, I don't want to, I just literally want to put this on like this. So you've got this lovely gold card. So we'll have the mother dear in like that. And then we'll have the baby just in here like this. Say I love these little deer, I really do. You know, sometimes you have cards and you just go like, oh, these are so lovely. So we can put the little mother baby in like that. So you've got that in like that. So again, you've now got all that lovely colour. And then the only thing we need to do is to put a Merry Christmas in on there. And we can put that in. We can emboss that in gold as well if we want to. Or we can just stamp that in black or something like that. I think I'm going to emboss it in the gold. Uh -huh. Now this is the thing where if I make a mess of this now, I've already put it together. So do as I say, not as I do. Never put your card together until you've put everything on there. So let me just, it's going to come up in on here. like that and I'm fingers crossed I'm going to be all right with this so let's get my little bit of card out again because this is where if I've got any glue on there I'm going to try and be quite careful with it so let's take my lid off carefully so it's not in the way and then I'm just going to very carefully pour it down this side need to give it a good old tap that's fine <laughs> and then I need to I'm going to get a very fine little brush because I don't want to get that on there so hold on I've got a little fan brush here the nearest thing that I could <coughs> find so I'm just going to make sure that I've taken these bits off So as I say, you can always very carefully make sure that you've taken all of the bits off so you then don't get little speckledy bits on. Like that. And then, hold on, let me just put my this back in here so I don't get it all blown everywhere. Okay, right, and then I just need to use my heat tool again and put this on here and just put the Merry Christmas. And you can see I put the deer that side, the Merry Christmas that side, because it balances it. And then I'm just going to put the, should be quite nice and hot. See it coming through. Like that. And then we have this beautiful card, all in gold on the white. And I think that that looks absolutely lovely. Don't need anything more than that, as I say, a really special one. And it's using that grassy grove and the Grove dies, which, as I say, are a firm favourite. And the next one on my trees, I'm going to be doing um, another one like that as well, um, using the dies in there. So um, thank you so much for watching me. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.